Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria 2 where we are finishing up our War of Independence with South Africa. They attempted to declare independence. It's uh, not going well. They don't have any troops. Like at all. It'll be over very shortly. Just need to wait a little while on this, but uh, I do want to think about perhaps doing a little bit more recruitment. I mean, we're still number one in the world, but I would kind of like to uh, maybe keep expanding the military size a little bit. These guys definitely need to be coming over here. There's no doubt about that. Wait, was this a Dragoon unit? This is a Dragoon unit. Where are you supposed to go, buddy? I don't know where he's supposed to go. We need two units of infantry over here. So I guess we'll just recruit up some infantry over here. Not, not engineers right now, just infantry. Okay, and then maybe we need to recruit in another army for these guys to be at. They can start making their way up over here and we'll recruit another Dragoon there. And then I guess we'll just get ourselves some artillery here. And then 10 units of infantry, that is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. South Africa wants peace. They want to become a puppet of us. I'm going to decline that because I don't actually want to puppet them. I would rather annex them. They would not accept that offer though. So we're going to have to hold off on that. You guys can come on down actually to Beaufort. You guys into Worcester. Excellent. So this war is of course going swimmingly. And our steamers are going to be finishing up soon. Hello societal status. No. South Africa, you can chill. Apparently they're not good at chilling though, but they can definitely chill. So we're going to have steamers very soon, and then we're probably just going to continue moving through the rest of these. Yeah, let's just get through these nice and quick. This will be done actually in under a year, so that's good. No, South Africa. Go away. They need to stop. <laughs> Excellent. What part of I don't want you to be a puppet do they not understand? Hello, socialists in South Africa. Slightly awkward, considering they're about to be conquered. You guys, as soon as you're done occupying over here, can move into Port Elizabeth, and then it'll be done. Cut down CB on Creek. I don't want to lose the prestige, so sure. Excellent. Would they now accept this piece? They actually wouldn't. We need 85 and the peace offer, or the peace offer value is 85. We have 84 right now. Okay, well, we are justifying on France, of course. Okay, excellent. So this should be absolutely fine. This war is fully under control. And in fact, at this point, they should accept our peace deal. So we want to just annex them. They would not accept this offer. We're going to propose it. They rejected it. Okay, we'll just finish our occupation. I'm not concerned about it. It's absolutely fine. We could probably cut our taxes, is what I'm thinking right now. Cut it down to 70%. No, not middle class to 25. That's not what we're looking for here. We're looking for 70 per- no, not 100. We're looking for 70% across the board. Yeah, this is fine. South Africa- do you want to be annexed now? They would still not accept. I guess we need a 100% war score for them to accept this. Now we're at 100, so surely they'll accept this. Yes, they would. 
Okay. South Africa is back, ladies and gentlemen. So, this is 512, this is a 312, this is 512, this is 513. So these two can move up to, say, Maasai. And then these two can group up in, say, Alundi with these two replacement units of infantry that we created last episode. Excellent. Now, France, I'm kind of salty about this. I'm going to be real honest with you. To the point where I'm going to send a full army down here, and we're going to take it from you. We can do some reforms. How about proportional representation? People actually aren't too into that. There's our acquire state CB against France. Free press, people aren't super into that. Yeah, they're, they're not super into it, but we're going to keep pushing through these reforms anyway. Excellent. Okay. So the question is, when are we going to declare on France? Well, I want to group this army up a little bit. Do something like this. These guys are, of course, intended to be over... Actually, hang on. That's a unit of infantry. These are infantry as well. They were intended to be moved over here. I guess these guys need to come up this way... Maybe this is an excess army, in which case we'll bulk it up into a full army. Uh, we'll see. Need to get all of these guys in. And you can just park right over there for right now. Oh, hello. I uh, accidentally tabbed out of the game. Good news, though. Rogue Tech has been updated to the latest version. Okay, let's tab back into the game here. <laughs> Excellent. This is slightly concerning. Their numbers there. I think I'm going to shift our forces around slightly here. We're going to bring these guys in here, and then these guys into here, and these guys to Brita. Okay. Excellent. Okay, and then we'll move these guys over to here, and we'll be able to crush all of these simultaneously. There's this army over here. I'm not too concerned about it, though. Okay. Sounds good. So, if we declare war on France with our acquire state CB, what state do we want? Well, I'd like to clean up some of the border gore. I'd also like West Morocco away from them for sure. Yeah, I would like West Morocco away from them. I would like... Catalonia is actually only the single province. Posen. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Do do do. Here's what we're looking for. Okay. We have declared war on France. Wait, did I just see that they were allied with someone? No. Okay, good. Truth with, and then there's us. Okay, so we're just going to move in, crush some of these French armies nice and quick. Something like this. Of course, this was always the plan over here. In you go. We're going to come in over here and over here. We're going to crush this army. These guys, we're actually going to move up. And then this army over here will also be crushed. Wonderful. So that's kind of our invasion plan. These guys are going to attack Gotland immediately. Okay. I don't think the French were expecting to be declared on quite that abruptly. Or at least quite that quickly. And I really don't think that they can stand up to what we're throwing at them right now. Oh yeah, they absolutely cannot stand up to that. They were not prepared. Wonderful. We're winning all of those fights. Hello, are you not moving in? Go on in. There you go. 
Okay. They're occupying over here. I don't actually care about that. We're going to continue taking out these forces. Wonderful. So we didn't stack wipe those forces, but uh, it was a close thing. What does that put our war score at? Already 9%. I like it. We can't add a war goal quite yet, but that's okay. We'll see if we can get away with adding war goals to this. Be kind of hilarious if we could. Okay, once you're done with Gotland, which you are now, I want you to come over this way. Wonderful. Is there a crossing here? There is, but the French fleet is going to block it, I think. Which, fair enough. Actually, it kind of looks like we might be able to make it over. I guess that explains how they invaded us over here. Fascinating. Okay, so we have occupations going on in all these locations. These guys are going to head straight on down. And the French are doing some occupying. We're going to kind of allow their armies to run around here for a little bit. Devagiri is being jerks. We have two armies here? Hang on a moment. I do not want two armies here. Do something like that. Excellent. Okay, we're going to push over this way with this force. We're going to push northward with this force. These guys, they have not taken over this territory just yet. And there's our tech finishing up. Wonderful. We'll grab naval plans next. Supply range is always a handy thing to have after all. Wonderful. Okay, we've finished up these occupations. I want to come over here. I want to attack here. I want to come over this way. We're fighting France there. That's ideal. We're fighting here. I want to attack into here as well as into here. Is that one province? Yes, that is. Okay. I also want to attack south here. Quite badly, actually. Okay, we won that battle. Perfect. Actually stack wiped them. I should be... Suppressing the clergy. France is offering us what we want. We could add a war goal here, though. Much infamy would it cost us to add one of these. And which state do we want? Well, we want this state. When we add this, we'll gain 11 infamy for no CB. Fascinating. You know what? Maybe we should just take this and get out. Our infamy is way up there. That said, it's already so far up there. Worst case scenario. A whole bunch of enemies declare on us. We have to give up a little territory over by China. Okay, we'll add a Wurgle. Excellent. Come up here. There you go. Where are these guys going? They're going into Ausig. Fantastic. The French never had a chance here. Not a single solitary chance. Okay, this is going to be finished up right now. These guys are going to arrive tomorrow. In we go. We are going to attack over here. Excellent. So, I mean, yeah, we're at 84 infamy. But, uh... <laughs> the question is, do we care? And the answer I'm increasingly coming to is no. No. No, we do not. At least not unless China decides to make us care.
France is offering us peace again. We don't have the jingoism for another state, so I think we just take it and get out. Okay. So we got these territories. Wonderful. So now we need to pull our troops back, of course. You can go back over there. You can just fall back over this way, I suppose. It kind of doesn't matter where these troops end up, considering that France is the only enemy that they're going to be facing. Ever. Although it does matter that they go there, because the supply limit's too low. Okay. I think that is all of our troops moving. Oh, not this guy. There you go. Excellent. Okay, so our infamy is way, way up there. And we definitely need to consider that. And move these guys somewhere where they're not taking attrition. There we go. Same with you. Get up there. Okay, now I want to check in over here. Yeah, it looks like this is indeed a spare unit of infantry. So let's recruit up an army for that. So we're going to build in one, two, three, four, five artillery. And then one and two dragoons. And then one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, and nine infantry, because we already have the one there. Perfect. Okay, so we grabbed some territory from France. We're going to continue taking territory from France. I'm not okay with this. I'm less okay with this. I want Europe. I want all of Europe. And Poland is in our sphere of influence, so we're okay with that. At least for now. Mechanized fishing vessels. That's a lot of fish production output out, actually. Look at how much that boosted our income there. Okay, it's worn off. It was a brief boost. <laughs> um, We'll let them keep some tea. We don't need cash anyway. Gaining consciousness... Aristocrats and capitalists. We'll curtail that distribution. Excellent. Okay, so after naval plans, the question is, what are we going to go for next? That will mean that everything in this second tier has been taken. So we probably want to do something in industry next. Industry is kind of... Quite a high pro... Hmm... An additional national focus. That would allow us to get more clerks. Prestige gain, that's nice, but not absolutely necessary. Tax efficiency and admin efficiency, though. Ooh, mining and farming output. Yeah, efficiency tech. Or we could just go down the army line. That's also an option. Let's check in quick on our factories. See how those are doing. They are nowhere near their cap. Okay. They're also pretty much all making money, so that's good. It's almost like we just used up a bunch of military supplies or something. Pratiharis is being jerks. That's okay, I guess. Are diplomatic points capped at 9? I think they might be. These guys are third in military power. They're also allied with Tondo, Devagiri, and Pratihara, Australia. Fascinating. If we were... Hmm... 7.5 infamy. 
liberate country war goal or acquire state war goal. All of those would be nice, but uh, I think for right now, we're just going to continue chilling. There are all of these, uh, all of these armies over here. It's kind of bonkers how many we've got. And we're raising more. Gyro stabilized fire control. That's nice. We still have a lot of possible inventions here. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. Getting more clerks would definitely be super useful. There's no doubt about that. We'll let the farmers keep the tea. We, once again, really don't need it. When is our next philosophy tech available? 1870. So we've got eight years. Okay. We could grab Iron Railroad and upgrade our railroads. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So if we hop into our infrastructure map mode, we can see... Our infrastructure is nearly completed, actually. We do have some railroads still expanding here. And I think that's because we're lacking some resources. But, uh, that's fine. We'll just slowly trickle those resources in. So, like, for example, over here. Yeah, we're lacking some construction goods. Timber and cement. Do we have a cement factory? It seems like we did. Yes. Yes, we do. And it's somehow losing money, even though we don't have enough cement. Okay. Why does that event keep firing? I have to wonder. Oh, I didn't realize France owned this. Fascinating. France also owns that. Good to know. Well, we're cutting France down to size anyway. Slowly cutting into them. How's China doing on catching up to us militarily? They're at 779 right now. We're almost 100 power ahead of them. I mean, if we needed to shift all of these armies westward, I think we'd be fine fighting quite a few enemies over there. We'll group all of these guys up somewhere like here. Excellent. There we go. And soon enough, we will have access to iron railroads. Activates in 1919. Oh yeah, the game ends in uh, 1936, doesn't it? So that's when Hearts of Iron picks up. Well... We'll definitely make it there. You can group up. There you go. Let's check in on these guys. They're lacking a unit of artillery. Well, we'll fix that. There we go. Excellent. So here's the thing. If nobody has gone after our... In gone after us for infamy yet I'm beginning to think they're not going to I think that we appear strong enough that the AI is super scared even though look at this Pratiharan army I'm actually a little bit scared of that hello the sound of cannons should dissuade them okay so these guys are going to be Coptic there we go Now there's an Orangian War of Independence. Where is it? <laughs> oh, down here. Well, that's pretty convenient, actually. We'll just go put that down. It's also pretty much time to uh, put a cut in here, but I'm going to win this war before we do that. So we'll just place a unit here. 
something like that. Okay, and then we will split that unit in half and we'll head over here. Excellent. And with that, I mean the war is pretty much won. We're going to split this in half again, but I'm going to go ahead and do the outro here. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time, because this war is already over. <laughs>